Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com back in the West Parlor here at Gray Manor. Wanted to just chat a little bit today about a particular brand uh, that some people have asked about uh, whether or not I would be carrying at the Pipe Nook in the near future. And that's Captain Black. So this will probably be a pretty quick video uh, I just kind of wanted to touch base on it. But first, I'm smoking my Savinelli 644 uh, unfinished Series 3 pipe, 9mm filter. Right now I'm using uh, Peterson 9mm filters, which I do believe I'll have on the site uh, in the near future. Um, they tend to be working for me just as well as the Stanwell filters. And sometimes the Stanwell filters are in short supply, so it would be nice to have a backup. In it, what am I smoking? And that's kind of a bit of the problem that I'll be talking about here. Um, Right now I'm smoking Captain Black Dark. Uh, now the question has come up a, a bit here and there about you know why I don't carry Captain Black. Captain Black is made by Lane. Lane of course is um, notable for their bulk blends. Uh, I don't carry any bulk blends because I just don't have the, that kind of space. Um, you know what? I'm going to try to bring this down a little bit. I feel like I'm really short in the shot. There we go. All right. Um, So yeah, because Lane and Captain Black are from the same company, presumably made in the same factory, there are some similarities in blends. As a matter of fact, I would call them outright match blends between each other. A few years back, I stumbled upon um, these similarities myself, and I made a quick little list um, at the time, I noted that Captain Black Royal uh, is very close, if not exactly the same as 1Q by Lane. Captain Black White, which is the regular, um, is very similar to RLP6. Captain Black Gold um, is to my taste very similar to a blend by Lane called MV1000. I don't even know if that one's still available. I don't buy a whole lot of bulk blends, particularly aromatics, because um, that's just not my wheelhouse. But, and then Captain Black Dark in the black pouch um, is close to BCA by Lane. And I'm sure there's others. Um, but in any case, um, up until just very recently, this past week, uh, I've tried a lot of lane blends in the past, but um, hadn't tried that many um, Captain Black blends, so I decided to try everything that was available. I got a pouch of the Captain Black grape, which, eh, you know, it doesn't taste like knee-high grape or Fanta or anything like that. You can kind of smell a grape flavoring, but it's, you know, it's pretty false. It's not an actual grape flavor. You know, grapes don't really smell like much unless you crush them up, but... Um, that blend's not bad. It's just not, it didn't bowl me over. Um, and that's kind of the problem with most Captain Black and Lane blends, to, to my mind. None of them really are outstanding to me. Um, 
and they all taste very similar um, to, to my mind. Now I'm trying to be careful, I'm trying to be diplomatic here because I know there are a lot of Lane fans out there, particularly 1Q, um, but many others, and there are a lot of Captain Black fans out there. But what I would what I would say is they all have the same kind of base taste with maybe some variations in, in the topping that they apply to the different blends. But I think they all have a fairly distinct uniform uh, casing that makes them all taste very similar. That's a complete guess on my part. But when you smoke a uh, Lane blend, or you smoke a uh, Captain Black blend, you pretty much know what you're smoking, or that that's the brand that you're smoking. My apologies with all the relights. I'm smoking that Captain Black Dark, and it's a, a moist black Cavendish, and I didn't let it dry out. This is actually my first smoke of that. But, uh... Yeah, it's just all kind of very similar. Um, no standouts. I will say, uh, for my money, um, Captain Black Regular in the white label and Captain Black uh, Royal, which would be the equivalents of RLP6 and 1Q by Lane, Those are the two stars, and all the others are just variants um, to my palette. And they're not bad. They're definitely not bad. This dark, I would say, I've, I've never been a fan of just black Cavendish blends. Not a whole lot going on here, but... None of them are terrible. Um... I just think the other Codger blends that I do already carry at the Pipe Nook are better. Um, so to answer the question of whether or not I'm going to carry Captain Black in the future, I will say that um, I, I might carry two or three, but definitely not all seven or, or whatever there are available now. I've tried the cherry, I wasn't a super fan of the cherry, but then again I'm not a cherry aromatic smoker. Um, so I'm, I might carry in the future the white label, the royal, which is the blue label, possibly the cherry. Um, so you guys let me know what you think. Um, it could be one of those things where, like, that, that stuff is so prevalent. I could probably go buy Captain Black at Walmart down the street right now. Um, I know the last time I went and checked to see if Walmart had pipe tobacco, that's what they had. I think they had Captain Black, White Label, um, and, Cap and uh, Half and Half, I think. That was a few years back. Oh, I finally got this in the chuff. Maybe it'll stay lit for me now. But, in any case, very recently, you know, I've smoked enough of the white label and blue label to, to know uh, what I think about those. But I've also tried cherry, I've tried the copper, I've tried the grape, I've tried the dark, and I've tried the gold. And uh, they're all about the same, but I, again, I would say the white label and the, the royal, the blue label, are the best. I actually like the grape a little bit better than the cherry, but again, that's just because I'm not a cherry fan, but...
You guys let me know what you think. This might be one of those eh kind of topics. <laughs> My customers may be like, eh, if you don't carry it, I'll get it elsewhere. If you do carry it, maybe I'll buy from you. I don't, I don't, I don't know that this will be a polarizing, um, highly debatable topic, but I did want to mention it because it has come up quite a bit. Hey, I just wanted to come back in here and uh, maybe put in a, a side note that I forgot. Uh, so I'll just probably plug this in the video somewhere. I'm sure some people are going to say, well, if, if you don't carry Captain Black, what are some alternatives uh, for those who really like aromatic blends? And I would say pretty much anything else I carry <laughs> on the site. And that, again, I'm not trying to deride Captain Black or Lane Tobaccos uh, in any way, but I think there are much better aromatic alternatives out there um, to Captain Black. Uh, pretty much any of the other Codger blends are, you know, they're lightly aromatic, like uh, Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic. Half and Half has a light cherry slash vanilla taste. Velvet is kind of like uh, Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic, has kind of a liqueur type taste. I would recommend those over um, Captain Black, but I would also recommend um, some higher grade blends uh, made by Cornell and Deal, um, like uh, their Stove Pipe, which has a vanilla flavor, their um, John Marr, Certainly, their Autumn Evening, which has like a maple flavoring. And then GLP's makes the Virginia Cream, which if you like vanilla, that's, that's one to try, definitely. But I think their base blends are just a lot better thought out, a lot higher quality leaf. You do find a lot of sticks. Uh, in uh, the Captain Black blends, maybe a little bit less in the Lane blends, but still present. And then, you know, Savinelli and Peterson make quite a bit of uh, aromatic blends. So I, I would check out all of those um, aromatic blends in those lines as a definite alternatives to uh, Captain Black or, or Lane blends. I think you'll find them overall higher quality, um, easier to light, better tasting, um, and just better blends in general. But hey, that's just one guy's opinion. Um, smoke what you like, but this is for those people who are maybe still looking for what tobaccos they do favor. Um, those would be my suggestions. All right, let's get back to the show. I'm going to get done with this uh, Captain Black Dark and uh, maybe smoke some Savinelli Jupiter or something like that. Something that's more of a tobacco taste to my mind. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. Glad y'all got to see me and I'll chat with you later. Mm -hmm.